Hey everyone, my name is Tegan and welcome back to Tandy Writes. Today we are going to be unboxing a box. This is the Rainbow Crate March. I believe the theme was Be Gay Do Crime. I think so. It's been a while now. We're, we're into May now. Because my box finally arrived. And this is the first time I'm unboxing a Rainbow Crate box. It's in the discreet packaging. Just because I was curious. Like, oh, how discreet is it? And it's just a couple box. And I will be saying that before I start this unboxing, I have no intention of buying any Rainbow Crate products, box in the future, because their response to this Freydis Moon race fishing situation was like very disappointing from my perspective. As of today, it is May 2nd. So based on the statement they've released so far, it was like a, what, 10 page Google Doc. One paragraph of it was just saying that, oh, we acknowledge this author has done something problematic. We're not going to say we're going to cut ties with them. And then every page after that was victim blaming one of these, one of this author's many, many victims. Also, the reason that lured me into buy this box in particular in the first place is because it has a special edition of Kay Ancrum's Icarus, I hope. If I've got the wrong box, I might go insane. But Kay Ancrum up here somewhere. I am obsessed with her. Icarus came out in the US at the start of March and the UK release date wasn't until the start of May. And as this was the March box, I thought, wow, I can buy this and I can get Icarus early. Um, so this arrived on May 1st, and my pre-order somehow arrived two weeks early, so I've already read it. So I hope this, this edition lives up to the hype. I think I have seen a spoiler of the cover, so we'll really assess when I open it. I'm also not sure if Rainbow Crate boxes include items as well, or is it just box, um, books? I know it's got a traditionally published book and it's got an indie published book, I'm pretty sure the indie one is Joker 7. And like the reason I am so hyped for this company in particular is because this is probably like the only way an author, a self-published or indie author, could get a special edition book or a special edition version of their book without having to like fund it themselves. So I am, you know, quite disappointed in their response to these scandals. Let's open it up. Also, this box took so long to get here, as we are in May now, and it's a March box because they had delays in the book production. I'm not sure which one of the books, which added another two, three weeks, and I don't think. They like emailed anyone individually about this until many weeks had passed and the box was late. Okay, so we open it up and it is lovely and rainbow on the inside. So it's definitely the BK the B Gay Do Crime box. So it has got it's got Junker 7, that's got Icarus in it. So it's got this little card in here. So you can see like, the original cover and the changes, which I find like quite fun. Especially for like boxes like Owl Crate and Loom Crate, right? I don't necessarily know what the original cover is, because there's a lot of books in it that I don't know until they've come out. This is nice to like what they've actually changed. Okay, so it's got the book, it's got whether or not it's part of a series, the spice level, the representation, and the content warnings. And then for the indie spotlight, it has like all the different artist credits for like the end papers and the edges. Okay, so in here we have we have a bookmark that has Juno from Junker 7 on here. I've read both of these books by now, by the way. I read Icarus literally yesterday in one day because of my copyright early. But I read Junker 7 in April as part of one of my Indian Awards um, submissions, my judging. So we have Juno from Junker 7 with the fish, who might be called Pollux, I can't remember. And then on the back we have Icarus and Hebios. Which I think is quite cute. The art style doesn't hugely suit like the dark themes of the book. A lot of it also takes place at night in the dark. So maybe it's not like a key pasty book, but this is cute. And then we have, I guess it's a signed book place. It's like a stickery, you can kind of see, of um, Castor and Juno again. I love this. This very much does suit the book. And also it's very reminiscent of the original cover. But yeah, so this art is what the new cover is. But no, it's very reminiscent of like the greens and the spacey vibes of the original cover. So I think, yeah, the items, the book plate and the bookmark. Let's put this down and open it up properly. Why is she, t she's tiny. Oh, I love how this feels. Ooh. Okay, in my head, this book was like a lot longer. This feels like it should be 300, oh, I'm opening too, I'm opening too fast. I've seen spoilers. Okay, so cover, I do love. I love that the trans pins and what other pins are? I think it's the trans pins and the lesbian pins, but there's like weird... I think it's gonna be like moon shapes. Moon shapes or sun shapes on her hair. Up close and personal. Love this exactly how I imagine the characters in my head. It's beautiful, it's funny, and also like, you can kind of... You can see where the text is shiny here. It's like textured there as well. I love that. I'm actually very impressed because... 
I know they featured indie books, but I don't know if they went like above and beyond and treated indie books as if they were their own like magical special thing. And I'm glad they do like look. Look, this is gorgeous. I mean, just look at that from this. This is like one of like the nicest special editions I own. Let's open it up. We're gonna just take the dust, dust jacket off and we're not gonna look at the inside. I lied, we're looking at. And it's shiny on the side. And it's shiny on the back. And then we have the goldfish on the front here, and I'm not sure what constellation it is. There's definitely specific constellations mentioned in the book, but my brain doesn't work. This is gorgeous. And like, I said I was buying this book, this box exclusively for Icarus. This is worth the cost of the box and the international shipping fee. The box was probably around £30, I think. It was, oh, maybe less. £30 max, then plus international shipping, which was in like the six, the 15 to £30 range. And they get, and like, they put the numbers on the spine, so that means I have to get... If they do a special edition for the second one, that means I might have to get it, guys. We were looking at the full cover, and what I was gasping about as I opened it the first time was they put the nutrition facts in here, because this is a book set in space. And their food comes in like, you know, the, the packet... The packet food you add water to that you only have for nutrition and it's even shiny on the inside around the, the author photo and around here and that is something that out of like the owl crate and lube crate books i have they don't have that they don't have that full attention to every part of the book so here okay on the inside it's got the amount of pages it's got 307 pages and it's got the representation and it's got the genre and the plot as like that this is such a fun cool detail that is again definitely relevant to the contents of the book and here we have the map of the galaxy the book is set in in i don't know if it's in the near future or far future where the planet earth has come in hospitable and they've moved on and inhabited other planets and the whole galaxy so here's a map of like the whole galaxy the map of the galaxy and like the route they took because in the book um juno is being smuggled across the galaxy that's a very, very bland summary, but I am going to do a full review of this book, especially now that I have this gorgeous, gorgeous copy. So they've got the route and they've got like which ones are shown as like rest stops, full stops, and just a oh, whole route. This is so fun. Is the back the same? No, the back's different. The back is one of the sweeter scenes in the book. Um, Juno's being smuggled across the galaxy because she is a big activist and the government wants her dead. So they stop on one of these planets and they go in the alleyway and they find like a mural, a graffiti mural of Juno. And she, like, she takes a little throw of her to show she's alive and things like that. And this, I want prints of this. This is gorgeous. But I'm going to put the jacket put on. But this is gorgeous. And I'm so glad that um, although I am suddenly one side of the beefing with Rainbow Crate, that they put this level of care and just, like genuine love into indie books. Because like you can't, like, someone definitely, this is made with love. You can tell that. And now on to Icarus, my, my beloved. And I will say that I did read Icarus yesterday and I am in love with it. It might not be my favourite Kay Ankrum book right now because The Wicked King obviously has such a special place in my heart. You have The Weight of the Stars, which I sobbed to. And this one I did love. I love so much. And there's so many scenes of it that are, that are reminiscent of the book I'm writing right now. So we're going to give it some time. We're going to see how like, my thoughts settle as this was literally yesterday. But I also know Kay Ankrum has an upcoming book. That's a Frankenstein retelling. That has my entire heart because I have beta read it. <laughs> so here, here, this one feels funny. So yeah, this is the cover I saw, I think I saw like a little preview on Storygraph when I was choosing my copy, so Mark has read. And this one also has a signed book plate sticker as well. This is now my most treasured possession. Okay, so we have, we have Icarus, we have Helios up here. We have, it's shiny. So it's got like, the symbols on it that are reminiscent of i can show you the original cover so we have like the falling imagery we have the suns we have the hands reaching out right here which is is it like the creation of adam painting is that what it is because we have the hands reaching out reach other on the back as well it's shy on the front it's very like low contrast it's very pastel -y that i'm i can read it but the focus is definitely on the art here rather than like a full cover design and on the inside, it has the same nutrition facts as Junker 7. So is this just a Rainbow Crate thing? Because it works for Junker 7, because 
they have like the nutrition pack meals. But is this just a thing they do? Then on the back we have the very beautiful Hold On. It's just it. What? Okay, so we've got my Waterstones copy that I've also sent an email to complain about because it's like damaged on the inside. So what they... Should I have like read a website? Do they explain this somewhere? Jungle Seven's a whole new like re remade book. Whereas Icarus is just Icarus with a dust jacket on. Like I saw the glimpse of the orange when I was unboxed and I thought, oh yeah, they did like a tribute to the original cover. It's, it's literally just the original cover. So as someone who bought this book specifically to get a special edition of Icarus, because I believe it was promoted as a special edition, and I don't believe it said any details of it just being a new hardcover case. A new dust jacket, I mean. I am a bit disappointed that they've just literally given me like, there's no end paper artwork or anything different. It's literally just a new dust jacket. The same way that, you know, people sell dust jackets on Etsy. And that's quite disappointing. I'm saying they probably did specify somewhere that this is what they were doing. But as, <laughs> but as someone who did not read any of it, I'm disappointed that it doesn't have the same, like, absolute beauty. Like, this is a special edition. This is a hardcover jacket I could get off Etsy. Like, it's cute, there's definitely attention to detail of like the book plate matching. You can kind of see like the design going around the edges of here and like the art on the bookmark and like that's, that's cute. I'm not sure how to end this video. In conclusion, I like it. I like that they're showing a lot of love to indie books. The box is very affordable, even with the international shipping for two, I'm very hesitant to say two special edition books now. For two books, one of which is a very lovingly well thought out, detailed, very well crafted special edition, and one that has a lovely dust jacket. It is a lovely dust jacket. And, you know, I enjoy the bookmark. I enjoy like the little signed book plates. I've lost my Kayla one. I would like, they. I'm again, they probably do this. I would like a full detailed list of every change they're making to the books. Like how Lumicray and Owlcrate list up, like, oh, this is a special book. It's got like a foiled case. It's got a redesigned hardcover. It's got end papers. And I like that, you know. Because like when you see this, 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 and it's got like unique front and back end papers, this just pales in comparison. But again, I'm so glad that the indie book is the one that's absolutely dominating this box. It's like, I'm happy. I am happy. I'm just also very disappointed. <laughs> that's because of my own expectations, not because anything they've actually done. I am disappointed over their response to the scandal though. So yeah, let me know in the comments below if you've ordered a box from this company before, if you liked it, if you've read any of these books, because I read both of them and I adored both of them. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye.